you talk about him being a sort of a preschooler, what, we're, what, what I kind of equate that to is he's starting to explore his environment and learn. At this point in time, he's, he's hitting all the marks that we would expect from him uh, to be, consider him to be doing fantastic. So he's doing great. He's about 45 pounds as of yesterday he was weighed. He's 45 pounds. So I would, I would say that uh, on the growth charts, he's doing great. His, his, his height and weight is, is all perfectly normal. And he's doing all the things we'd expect from him at this age. Meishang and Tian are doing fantastic. Uh, I mean, you can see, if you watch the panda cam, you can certainly see that she's a fantastic mother. Uh, they're both in great health. They're, of course, they're both older pandas, but they're both doing really, really well. Um, no health concerns, nothing to be concerned with at this point. Based on my observations, I would say at this point he's a little bit more like his dad. Um, he loves to climb trees. Tian Tian is also a, a pretty big fan of climbing things and the way he behaves. Uh, of course, he is a male, so we expect him to, to sort of uh, start uh, modeling some of that, you know, normal male panda behavior as he gets older. I think it's safe to say that giant pandas are our most famous uh, inhabitant at the zoo. And so I know when people are coming to the zoo, they're going to want to see the pandas. It will be uh, difficult for people to not have a chance to see the panda, but we're urging them to be patient, to keep checking back, and to come in, uh, in a few weeks. We hope that restrictions might be lifted, but we will um, open as quickly, as safely as we possibly can, so everyone will have a chance to see the pandas.